listen up, all right? Today, we are not going to be using the pot. No, 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 no. The wok? No, 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 no. We are not even gonna be using the stove or the hot pot. Today is not about that, okay? They've had their time, they've had their moment. We're done, all right? Enough of these kitchen supplies that everyone thinks you need. People, today is about the microwave, all right? Today is about the triumph of the human spirit when it is lazy. When you have nothing in your pantry but some flour, a few other odds and ends, and most importantly, a mug. Mug meals are basically the too long didn't read of food. I love TLDR because sometimes I don't want to read because it is too long, whether it's cooking an entire meal or pretty much just cooking an entire meal. Sometimes that's overwhelming and I don't want to do it. No, 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 nothing you can say will make me want to do it. Try, talk. Well, it's actually a pretty good point. Damn. I found out the beauty and wonder of mug food when a few years ago, I had my wisdom teeth removed. And while sort of high and confused as to my existential purpose on the universe, I had my wonderful girlfriend, Jenna, make me mug food because I couldn't chew. I, was, I had a baby mouth, okay? I was, you know, I was just, I was incapacitated basically. She made me a mug pizza. She made me a mug cake. She made me a mug rocket sh No, 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 not a rocket ship. That was me hallucinating. What drugs did they give me? She made me a mug cake and a mug pizza. And at the time it was like the best thing ever because I was so hungry, I just couldn't bear chewing anything. But the, the consistency of mug food and a mug recipe is part of the reason why they're so great. It's just like mushy, it's easy to eat. If you, for whatever reason, can't chew or you just need a soft food, a mug recipe is here for you, okay? Today's episode goes out to you out there who are feeling lazy. You don't feel like turning on a, a, fl a fire and a pot like you're out hunting and camping. Ew, you wanna sit your ass on that couch and you wanna eat your food out of a mug. You wanna drink your coffee, pour it out when you're, you know, pour the last little sip out when you're done and then put some food in it and that's your day, okay? I'm here for you. Okay, we are gonna make some mug believable food today. So just buckle in to your couch and prepare yourself. So as you can see in front of me, I have just a delectable looking array of prep bowls filled with all of our ingredients that we're gonna need for our mug food. Getting to this point is, that's, that's the marathon. We have already reached the finish line. All we gotta do is pop this sucker into the microwave and we're eating. So before we grace our Lord and Savior microwave today, we have to arrange our food within the mug. I have prepared ingredients for two savory recipes and two dessert recipes. And I think we will start with the dessert recipes so that the last thing we cook will be the entree food, so that's warm, because the dessert can be a little cold. I think, I think I'm onto something there. The recipes that I selected are mug pizza, the same exact one Jenna made for me years ago, mug fried rice, which feels kind of like a lie because no one's frying anything, but that's one. And for dessert, we have the mug molten lava chocolate cake, the same one she made for me a few years ago. And then I found a recipe for a blueberry mug fin. So I figured we'll start with the chocolate cake, go to the blueberry muffin, and then we'll work our way to the entrees. But yeah, as you can see, I have flour, I have some cooked rice, sugar, sauce, berries, other ingredients, and then we have like cocoa powder, olive oil, and mixed into the flour mixtures, I have baking soda, baking powder. I'm gonna link all of the recipes below. I've also pinned them, so I'm not gonna give you complete exact measurements here. If you wanna watch a Tasty video, okay, you can go watch Tasty. I'm not gonna give you every, you know, we're here for a struggle. This isn't supposed to be pretty. Anyway, let us begin. We're gonna go with our sushi mug and we are gonna make our molten lava chocolate whatever mug cake first, all right? So, first start with some melted butter. I melted kind of a decent sized bowl of butter because multiple recipes here are gonna be using it. 
Um, so we're gonna take, this is a teaspoon. We need two tablespoons of melted butter. So six teaspoons of melted butter. I got one, two, three, four, five. All right, that's two tablespoons of melted butter. Easy, done, donezo. And we're gonna need two tablespoons of water. So I actually just got the tablespoon. One, two, hmm. I feel like we should retrieve our whisk. Mix it together. All right, so now we're gonna add just a little dash of vanilla extract. That looks good. There's probably a way to do this that's not stupid, but I'm just gonna do it the stupid way because I kinda just wanna get to it. But we're gonna dump the flour mixture. I'm gonna just kinda stir it around a little bit. Okay, and then our sugar. Oh yeah. And then last but not least, we're gonna add the cocoa powder and the chocolate chips, which are not in the recipe, but I just wanted to add. So if you wanna come for me about that, I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. And we are just gonna mix this all together. It's hopefully gonna get like a nice mushy wet consistency before we nuke it. Oh yeah, look at that. That is nice. Dude, this is so amazing and nutritious. Oh yeah, once you put the food in the mug, by the way, guys, it loses all of its caloric density. So there's no calories in any of these. Well, supposedly. Okay, well, that's it, we're done. We literally just made a cake. Our chocolate cake is done. Being assembled, not cooked, but I just had an idea. Should we assemble all the mugs and then nuke them all at the same time? I think that's what we'll do. Good idea, Julian, thanks, Julian. Try a little bite. That tastes like a cake. All right, so mug cake with the chocolate done, ready to nuke. Let's put that right here and let's move on to our blueberry. Actually, this will be our pizza mug. This looks like a pizza mug. We'll do blueberry in here, all right? Blueberry in here. So for the blueberry, we are gonna add our flour mixture, which again, like I said earlier, has necessary baking soda and powder for each recipe already mixed in. White and brown sugar because you're gonna need both. Actually, I lied. This is the baking soda. It was separate on this one. And since these are all dry ingredients, I am going to just kind of stir it about with our appropriately sized whisk. We are gonna be using a fourth a cup of oat milk here. So let's do a fourth a cup. And then two tablespoons of butter. So there's one and there's two and one half a teaspoon of vanilla. This is gonna be the most amazing muffin that I've ever eaten or created. So we're just gonna mix this, get it all even. It honestly looks like muffin batter. It looks like the perfect uh, color, consistency. And now we are going to add our blueberries and just kind of nicely fold them in. So all the blueberries are in here and we want them to be evenly distributed throughout the muffin, but we especially want the blueberries to be up at the top, right? Because we want it to look nice. Literally done, easy. This is so nice to be able to assemble food in this manner. If you've never cooked before and you want to dip your toes in the culinary world, but you're kind of nervous that it's gonna be too much, I feel like mug recipes are the way to go because it's so dang easy. You just need to get these ingredients and then chuck them in the microwave. Everyone loves the microwave except for your iPhone. Don't put it in the microwave. All right, it's pizza time, okay? We're gonna make our pizza and then our fried rice, and then it's, it's time to cook all of our food that we've worked so hard to prepare. With our pizza, the main first ingredient is gonna be our flour with our baking soda and baking powder mixed in. So let us add that uh, nice and neatly, making sure we're not spilling like most of it on the sides. We're gonna add a little pinch of salt and we're gonna wanna add three tablespoons of milk. So one, two, and three. And this is about when we're gonna wanna get the mixture homogenous because we want this one to really especially kinda have layers because the sauce needs to like sit on top of the dough. And this is gonna end up being more of like a doughy, like a pizza, not so much like a 
lava cake or muffin or whatever. It's gonna be a little more doughy than the other two, but I'm just trying to get it separated and kind of glued to the bottom of the mug here. Next, we're gonna add our olive oil. I'm actually just gonna grab a toddler spoon because if there was ever a recipe where that was appropriate, it is a mug cake slash pizza slash anything. We're cooking in a freaking mug, okay? Toddler could do it. All right, this is actually starting to look like dough in here. You can see it looks yeah, like pizza dough almost. This is gonna sit kind of halfway up our mug and this is gonna be the base slash crust of our pizza. Next, we are gonna add our homemade marinara sauce. You can just use some jar marinara, whatever. I don't care. I just made some because we don't have any prepared. And this is just gonna sit on top of the crust slash dough. And the last slash easiest part of this is we're going to sprinkle our fresh grated mozzarella cheese, which has kind of already started to clump together, but that's fine. Vegan cheese can be weird texture sometimes. It's, it's fine. And there we go. This is our mug pizza ready to be cooked for, none of these cook for more than like a minute and a half either. Maybe like two minutes at the most. Our first entree is ready and prepared. All right, time for our last and weirdest recipe of the day, which is gonna be mug fried rice. As far as recipes go, this one is pretty deceiving and untruthful and untrustworthy. It is not fried rice. I don't know why we're calling it that. It is rice in a mug with a similar set of ingredients as you would with fried rice. So I have made some, some rice. I, I had to cook rice. That was probably the most work intensive thing that this whole shebang has required, but we're gonna put our rice in the bowl. Hello, are you looking for fried rice? Well, there's none here. We're making mug rice, all right? No, no, no. All right, so we have our rice in our mug here. Kind of weird, but I don't know. In this little tiny preple, I have mixed a little bit of Chinese five spice and salt. If you don't know, Chinese five spice is a really good seasoning when you're making stir fry. Most Asian dishes do well with a little bit of Chinese five spice, at least like Chinese food, fried rice, things like that. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of this in to our rice with the salt. We are gonna add our peas and some chopped scallions. You can go as crazy as you want. Fried rice can be made a hundred different ways with a hundred different ingredients. You could do peppers, protein, tofu, bean sprouts, which the store didn't have. Whatever your heart desires. The last thing we're gonna do is add our little sauce mixture, which is soy sauce and sesame oil mixed together. And we're gonna wanna stir this around so the sauce covers more than just one bite. This is bizarre. The fact that I'm like not having to cook this on a pot or a pan or have to work with the heat and everything like that is just, it's bizarre, I don't know. This feels like one step below space food. This looks pretty covered. Our rice looks pretty covered. One last thing we are going to add to our fried rice, which I just remembered, is our just for all vegan folded egg. We are, since you know, people oftentimes include some egg in their fried rice, we are gonna do that. We are gonna take this and just kind of like rip up little pieces of it and add it into our fried rice. Maybe we'll use half of this since the mug cake is kind of small. And we're gonna give it one last stir so that the egg gets mixed into the sauce and the rice. And it's all one beautiful mug meal. Here we go. This was potentially the easiest thing I've ever made on this channel. We have our chocolate cake, our blueberry muffin, our pizza, and our fried rice. We are covering so many different points of the culinary experience here, and we're doing it with no fire, okay? Which hurts my soul a little bit, but the main point and the takeaway from today is laziness meets a mug equals yummy. Let's get nuking.
Well, we have four mug meals here and we have two mug humans to test. Care to join me? Mug lady. I have made... Don't call me a mug lady. I've made this one and that one before. Why are you kicking me? Why are you kicking me? Why are you kicking me? M mug. Okay. So we have the main course, the pizza that we've already eaten. The, also a great part about this is all you need is a spoon. You don't need any fancy utensils. This is, would you make this cheese? No, it's the, we ran out of the good cheese. That's the tea stuff. I know for a fact this is good. This is like a, I have nothing in my house except pantry stuff and I'm gonna make a mug pizza and mm -hmm. it's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 Why are you having Oh, um, why are so that were like piping hot? <laughs> I thought that was kind of self-explanatory. No, I thought, I've been watching you like make a thumbnail in here, like I thought they weren't I didn't hot make a anymore. thumbnail, it happened naturally. Julian! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know it was super hot. I want to try the rice. Okay, the fried rice, let me know how that is. Did you cook the rice first? Yeah, I made rice, you can't cook it in the mug. Oh. Yeah. That's actually really good. Is it good? Yeah. It's like fake fried rice. It's not really fried rice. Here you go. Have a bite. The pizza one's okay. You just, you have a problem balancing acidity. You never make pizza sauce. Anything other, tastes like, just like so. Sweet? No, it's so bitter and acidic. Like it does I put not... some sugar in it. One bay loves your marinara. I'm surprised you didn't add lemon to it. I did. Julian. I didn't, I didn't. This is blueberry muffin, AKA blubbery muffin, AKA I've, the prettiest looking dessert that we made. I've made this before. The molten lava. Really good. It's not fair. Hey, Please not for you. You can't have chocolate. All right, I'm gonna try the blueberry muffin. Try the blubbery muffin. Why are you calling it blubbery? Blubbery. That's I've, how you pronounce it, the fruit blubbery. This looks really good. Careful. Good, bad? I have other mug meals in my mouth. Yeah, we need to cleanse our palate. Should we have some lemon juice real quick? No. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's very hot. I like it hot. Some like it hot. I am mm, some. Mm, that one. That one. Oh, that's good. That one's really good. The blubbery is really good. Stop calling that. It's what? weird, babe. Sorry. It's so hot. The blueberry. Put it back. Uh, Oh, Put it back. <laughs> oh, so hot. Did you know that fun fact? Blueberries in nature are actually the temperature that they are right now. <laughs> They're 110 Fahrenheit off the branch. That one's so good. This one's really good. I like the pizza one. But we didn't have the best cheese though. We ran out of the good cheese. And the pizza sauce is like so so good. Just. <laughs> Cooked by an elite chef. Wait, you don't like the pizza sauce? No. It's oh, I bought it. It's store bought. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's store bought. You like the kind I make. That's store bought. I'll tell. I'll. I'll email the company. Dear company, my girlfriend doesn't like your sauce. That's really good, babe. Reconsider yeah. your the choices. The blueberry muffin one is insane. And the rice is so good. The rice is good. Why is the rice one good? I don't know. It's not fried rice. It's not fried rice. I said it's not fried rice. That is pretty sour. <laughs> I really should have tasted that marinara sauce before I popped it in here. I put a sprinkle of sugar. Maybe I needed more sugar. Well, you win some and you lose some. The best part though is even if you lose this, it really wasn't that much work. And you have this many dishes to do. That's it, just a mug. Literally eat it and toss it in the dishwasher, but rinse it first. You can't just throw it clumped up with food in the dishwasher. You know, you gotta give him a break. He's just sitting there like, Hello guy, I can't do everything for you. Can you at least rinse it? I, I'm not an all-in-one machine here. Poor dishwasher. This video is dedicated to the dishwasher, dude. No, it's not. It's dedicated to the microwave. The true MVP today that created four epic meals in mugs. You know meals on wheels? No, no, no. Meals in mugs. We make meals and put them in mugs and feed ourselves. It's a selfish, shitty version of Meals on Wheels. The rice, I could eat this. I mean, 
aside from the fact that I made just perfect rice to go in this, right? That's the hard part. It doesn't taste quite as like crispy and like, I don't know, cooked as you would taste when you eat fried rice, when you walk it and everything. But it tastes good. Like it really, like the fried rice to me was the biggest shocker. I thought this was gonna be bad. Like that is good. How did you guys like it? Well, thank you for joining me today for uh, all of these wonderful, convenient, easy, lazy recipes. I think it's safe to say we ran a mug in this kitchen. I'm gonna go now. <laughs>